So we now have jQuery and Bootstrap JS linked in there, so we can start using Bootstrap JavaScript. Before we do, let's just write a quick little comment for ourselves. It's always good to comment your code. Just want to leave a little comment about what this script does. So we'll just say includes jQuery CDN for Bootstrap JS. Highlight it and command question mark for a Mac, control question mark for a PC. And then we'll go to getbootstrap.com. And at the top, right, we have CSS, components, and JavaScript. So let's click on JavaScript here. The first one we're going to cover is modals. And we've really only chosen to cover a few of these because we've only found that a few of them are really useful, whereas the other ones you're really not going to use all that much. They're really not that useful. So we're just going to stick to the ones that we see you could easily use on almost every website. So the first one is modal. Let's just click on that brings us down here. We're going to scroll down a little bit. And here we have a live demo. So when we click on this, it launches up this window. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. What we're going to do is we're just going to click copy right here. Go back to our code. Going to paste it there. Also going to tab it out. All right, so we have it all in here. Let's go ahead and test it out real quick. Refresh, there's our button, and there's our modal, and no errors. So we can just close it multiple ways. We can close it on the close button, on the X, or we can just click off, and it closes. So that's some really cool functionality right there already built into it. If you want to go ahead and edit it, there are a few things we can do, right? So here's the button. Just change that to click me. Here's the modal title my first bootstrap modal we can ch change the save changes button or we can just get rid of it entirely in fact I don't even want the close button I think most people are aware that you can just click off the screen or click the X at the top and it'll close and then we have our content I'll save it we'll go back click on it and all this great stuff changes so what I don't want you to do is, I don't want you to go in and focus on memorizing all of the different classes in order to create a modal. That is not a good use of your time. It's gonna take you a lot of time to do that, and really, you can just come to getbootstrap.com, copy it in, and just make whatever changes you need to make. You saw how quickly I was able just to make a few changes. You really are only concerned with just getting the job done and getting the functionality in there and make it look however you want it to look. So that's how easy it is to include a mobile on your website using Bootstrap JavaScript.